like he gay. Um, yeah, that's basically all you need to know since we're doing a tier list video today on tiermaker.com. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Now, this tier list is not that very long. Um, so I'm gonna be doing something beforehand. You know, I'm gonna prove to you guys that I know psyche characters. All right, so here's the poster. Um, I just wanted to test my knowledge out. This should be a quick and easy quiz. It seems like it's only a minute long. So uh, let's do this. So we got Toroki. We, oh, it's the dude in the purple hair. Kai, Kaido, Kai, Kaido got that wrong. This is Psyche. It's gotta be his mom or dad. I don't know their name like that. So I guess mom? Mira, she's to, oh, it's the red hair girl. Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh, Chiyo, it's not these two. Um, this is Terahashi. This is Hero. This is Nendo. So this is the one that follows Psyche K. Just Psyche? Just Psyche? I think that flows better. Psyche. She follows him a lot. So yeah. Uh, Terahashi. Uh, Psyche. Kuso Psyche. The man in the middle. Uh, we have Psyche, his dad. You have Nendo. I'm gonna just speed and boom. Four seconds left. Oh, with him. I'm, I'm just, I'm just too good. I got six for six. And my no, ten for ten. I said six for six. I was miscounting. But yeah, I just wanted to prove my knowledge real quick. Now let's get into the tier maker. So here's the list. All right. Now I did not make this at all. This was made by Berg Yuna. All right. I'm pretty not sure I said that right. I'm like 100% sure I did not say that right. But we have, I say mostly the all important characters from Psyche K from season one to season two ish it doesn't show really any season three characters some side characters may be missing but let's first start off with the cat i can't remember the cat that much i actually can't remember him at all like i watched the show i even watched the revival of the show the first season i really wanted it to have a second season now let's get into the former gangster i can't remember the most of these guys names i like i said i suck at names but i could put names to faces you know what i mean that sound crazy got it got it that's just how it goes in my mind but he was kind of a neutral character for me i never really cared uh he was kind of a neutral character for me he was sometimes funny on screen um and his personality was that like he was trying to act normal right i'm pretty sure that's how his personality was he was trying to act normal but then he was like a former um, or like i'm pretty sure he was a yakuza member nope. um but next up we have we literally just went over her character, right? She's the one that follows Psyche K. Then she falls in love with uh, Kaido, right? She falls in love with Kaido. And then they break up. And then they get back together. I'm pretty sure that's how the story goes. Nope. Yeah, she was not a good character. I just, I don't know what to say. She was not, like, she was like, she was not, she was not close to the neutral zone. She wasn't below average. But uh, I would say below average would be a little bit of an understatement. Every character on this right there is bad, all right? But she wasn't a bad character. Um, next up is the Magician. Uh, I say he was, uh, he was a pretty one-off character. I'm neutral about him. But I have to put someone on one tier. And, you know, I'm going to just... Nah, there's worse characters. There's worse characters. So I would say I put him in the neutral. But uh, next up, we have the shoe-eating, boot-licking businessman psyche's father all right and uh yeah i just didn't find him funny um i'm not sure anybody finds like uh like i don't know what his character was uh but he just wasn't a funny character this is the tier for characters that had funny moments but just weren't good all right and i believe psyche's father just falls in there next up we have hero I like his character. I very much like his character, even though he was, you know, the, the you know, he's the happy go jo golly jock, right? He's the athlete, the all all in sport, you know, the most popular dude in class. Yeah, he's just, you know, a tier above everyone else. The for their characters, since he was a character that was a main staple for season one, season two, and I think there was two only two episodes of season three. Um, yeah, his character I liked very much. Next up, we have. The Black Thunder, Black Lightning of Thunder. What was the name again? He called himself the Jet Black Wing. I completely forgot that. It was like something thunder that was his special ability. Man, this character was A1 funny. I don't think I hated him at all. I don't think there was a scene where I could hate him. 
this man was just funny 99% of the times he was on screen. Uh, he was more of like a, he's like a comedy relief for like a com, not a comedy relief. How am I trying to word this? Like an extreme level of comedy because the things that he was doing were just flat out dumb. Like they literally didn't make any sense. Like it was just dumbness. That was very funny. That was extremely hilarious to someone like me. And you know, I would, I very much love his character, but there's only one person in my all time favorite, but you know, we got to continue this tier list. We got next up Psyche's brother. I don't know what to say. Like that's his brother right there. If you can't see him right there, he has a little antenna too. Um, just a bad character. Next up, we got Teru Hashi's brother. Terahashi was okay-ish. Uh, yeah, I just skipped around a little bit, but Terahashi was okay-ish, all right? You know, a character you're supposed to feel annoyed with, but at the end, you see her, you know, man, like, I think Psyche was, like, the first dude to ever ignore her, but, like, the weird thing about the show was, right, is that a bunch of, like, dudes, right, that were obviously in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, we're gawking over this 15, 16 year old girl. We could check her age out right now and see what her age was. I called it. She is 16 years old. That's just, that's just wild. Uh, she is 16 years old and they do not the most, you know, like they just gawking at her and shit. That's just a little weird. But her character wasn't that bad. She was in the okay as his own. I say, you know, she's not in, you know, that annoyance zone. She would have been in a not good character if she kept up her act for the first, like, three episodes. Um, I don't remember that much about Miru. I'm pretty sure that's her name. I don't remember much about her. I'm trying to get these characters into pools. So, I don't remember much about the little kid that was mistaken to be Teruhashi's kid. Uh, and Psyche. Psyche and Terahashi's kid. Because the Terahashi cult that started in school, I know this sounds very crazy. The club thought that Psyche was the father of this child because they saw her and Psyche together with the child and they kidnapped him. And I don't know, I don't know what happened after that. They um, they kidnapped him and like they put him in like a classroom. And now the mom, she was she was neutral. Like I ain't hate her character. I don't remember that much about her character. Put her in the neutral zone. Cause I don't remember that much. I don't remember anything that she did bad. Uh, but next up, we have my favorite character of all time, Nendo. Let's go, man. Let's. No, all right. Listen, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But he is over Kaido. But he is over Kaido. That's the thing. I'm not joking about that. But I very much, like, throughout the whole entire series, just love, love Nendo's character. Like, this man was, like, the, like, the greatest dunce I've ever seen in an anime ever. Like, he's the greatest idiot I've ever seen. Like, nothing clicked together for him. And he was, like, just, like, like he seemed like a cool-ass dude, bro. He just seemed like one, one, well, a person you would love to hang out with. Now, I'm gonna skip over him since I see him as a bad character. Um, he was fucking weird. And him, he was a pervert. I'm gonna just put him in the... He was, he was like, pervert. But he, like, he chilled out with that. But my favorite character of all time, the character that I'm probably gonna be talking, you know, forever with, all right, is Psyche K. I say he is a top five, top ten anime character for me because I love this show. I love... When I figured out this show, bro, I was telling everyone it ain't even have to watch anime man like he had a lot of abilities like this man really like changed the world to have different hair colors because of his pink hair was so out of place like everyone had like regular hair and then he's like Ooh. everybody got like red and blue hair now whatever man and basically he changed the world multiple times bro his character was just so sick psyche the greatest the greatest at uh, the i say second greatest because i like mob more little bit more like mob a little bit more the second greatest psychic slash esper in the whole entire anime verse psyche k this is a perfect tier list uh for me there's a lot of characters that are missing like five different characters that you could have had on here but uh yeah um i want to thank you for watching this video if you watched it all the way through um my name is mo and i will see you on saturday since i will be posting by then Bye.